Well, I got some good news today. Laser Saber posted another video showing one of his pulse motors uh, still working after several months. And uh, that inspired me to get this uh, one of mine wet again and see if it would run. And sure enough, man, does it run. <laughs> but I did something to it. I added in the circuit, this little uh, um, air core bobbin coil that I've been using. And it made a hot rod out of this thing. And that thing's running about three times the speed it would normally run at. And there's no battery hooked up to that at all. It's just... Uh, it's just the battery in the stubble field coil. And um, Laser Saber said to put another reed switch on the other side here and use the open uh, ends of the coil and have this push and attract, push and attract to spin faster. And I did try it and it did work, um, but not with this arrangement. So I had to pull that off, but it was a good idea. It just, uh, with this particular arrangement here, I couldn't get it to work right. But this was a major winner here, adding this little uh, booster coil, I call it, into the circuit. It really made a difference. And here's the circuit diagram right here. And uh, you can see it's, all it is is the, uh, the stubble field coil is a battery and a coil all in one. It's copper. Uh, cotton covered copper wire and galvanized steel wire wrapped together in uh, layers with cotton between the layers and the galvanic action in the battery creates enough juice to create an electromagnet when you connect two of these ends together. And you notice the other ends are open-ended so the circuit is really a capacitive circuit between the windings here. That's why this acts like a capacitor I've decided is because um, you basically got a giant capacitor type of thing that makes its own electricity. And it drives a pulse motor, just a regular pulse motor with a reed switch. And then I put the little booster coil here right in series with this. And it just worked like a champ. It'll actually run on just that little booster coil, but it runs much better when the stubble field coil is driving the rotor also. So anyway, I just call this the hot rod. This is the hot rod stubble fuel coil. And uh, I'm lid motor. Today's 13th of uh, August, 2010. Summer's almost gone. But anyway, that was what I did today. And I uh, was inspired by Laser Saber's uh, uh, coil that's still working after months. And uh, mine is too. And I don't know what to say, but this is quite a phenomenon. Every time I start this up again, and see it run. It's just amazing. I'll let you listen to it here. It's running away. Now I can add in more power with my, my little uh, pot scrubber uh, battery here by going into the uh, open ends of the coil. Uh, I can add in power and make these LEDs light up. You notice they're not even lighting up. There's not enough power here to make these things light up. This one here, you might be able to see that blink a little bit, is uh, being blinked on the uh, back spike of the uh, little booster coil right there. So let me hook this up and uh, I'll show you when I add energy to it. This is going to pick up in speed too. And that's going to get real wobbly. add this right in here. This is the little uh, galvanized steel pot scrubber with a copper pot scrubber in a little tub of water. Okay, there goes the LED lighting up on that one there. You can't really see this, it's too light out. And uh, then the one down there is going off too. You can see the little rotors just going crazy. See the RPM revving up. Too bad you can't see this, but this is this is blinking. <laughs> okay, I'll disconnect this again. Get that rev down before I throw a magnet. Okay. Anyway, very successful. Um, this uh, stubble field coil, I let it uh, sit for sometimes weeks at a time and completely dry out. 
And unlike uh, laser sabers, um, mine is only holding about a tenth of a volt when it's completely dried out. It doesn't go flat, but it goes down to about a tenth of a volt. And it's not enough to make the rotor run unless I get it wet again. Then it'll run for several days, and then it'll go down uh, low, and it won't run anymore. So anyway, I, I'm going to try this with this booster coil and just see how long it runs with the booster coil. And... Uh, my hot rod stubble field coil. <laughs> Thanks for watching.